Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're here in uh, Winter Park, Florida, Orlando, Florida, and we are putting in a yard drain. And let me show you why. They built this pool over here. This is quite nice. But what it did was it raised up the soil. And now the water tends to run from this area back, and it just goes right across our patio and ends up over here in this corner. And you can see the sandbags here. This was actually from the hurricane. Water you know, really came through the area. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in the French drain, people call it. We call it a gravel perforated drain, although we're using newer material, which is perforated pipe surrounded by styrofoam peanuts. This acts as a French drain. And what it's gonna do is gonna collect the groundwater. As the groundwater rises, it comes up into that system and it's carried away. We'll also put a couple of catch basins out here to pick up the surface water. As surface water comes across the ground, drop into the system. From here, it goes under the sidewalk and we're gonna to have to put a sump pump in. We're gonna pull up these viburnums and the sump pump's gonna go right there. From there, the pump lifts the water up, we'll tunnel underneath the sidewalk, and we're gonna go all the way out here to the street where it discharges. Really straightforward, something you know the homeowner could easily do themselves um, if you want to. Uh, this is a, a lot of labor, but save a lot of money doing it yourself. Let me give you some tips on how to do it. We're gonna discharge right out here to a pop-up emitter or a grate, one or the other, and that water, when the pump kicks on, it's just going to come out and flood across the driveway. Okay, so started our excavation. Remember, we're going to tunnel the sidewalk. And you're always going to find obstacles in your way. So here we have, you know, a sprinkler that you can see the line runs across. See the white pipe on the other side. Line's heading that way. So hopefully the main sprinkler lines are over there. And they, they come this way to the heads. This 3-inch pipe right here, this is from the washing machine and some of these homes were on septic you can see there's the vent for the for the washer and at one time they were on septic now they're on sewer but this line comes out it comes across and we're finding this line as it runs all the way around the house so the old septic tank must have been somewhere over here into this area but has long been hooked up to sewer, but that line still comes all the way around, ties into the main drain and goes out to the front. It's just an obstacle. It's still working order. We can't take it out. So we've got to modify our system to work with that. We wanted to be right beside the edge of the concrete, but we're going to have to move over on the other side of that pipe to install the system. It's going to work exactly the same way. It's just a little bit of exploring. Unfortunate that we had to cut all that sod and move it around a bit, but it'll still work. So out. over here where we're going to tunnel the sidewalk, come under the walk, on the other side of the fence, we pulled the two viburnums that were here, and we're going to try to sink a sump pit right into this area right here. So let me get started on that. So again, remember, there are obstacles on most jobs. Sprinkler line, we need to tunnel the walk. I've already started that. Real small walk comes across. We've got a tunnel underneath of the sewer line go underneath the fence we come right over here and that's going to be where the something so you can see that again there are obstacles not only are we finding the sprinkler line but you can see there is an old french drain here with lots of gravel so the homeowner probably put that in but it didn't go anywhere so again water filled up the system and that was the end of that it just collected water it didn't go anywhere so again remember you will find obstacles i promise you and some of them are easy, some of them are hard. Once we get past the sewer line right here, it should be a really simple excavation. Go underneath of it here, and you can see we're going underneath the sidewalk already, almost through there. That's a small walk, shouldn't take but just a minute. And again, the way you go underneath of a walk is you scrape from the top, scrape it off the top, then you come back and you dig down and make it deeper. And you can go as deep as you want, but the secret is to hit the top of that in other words, the bottom of the concrete, we call it the top. You scrape it off the top, then you come back, you get a scoop, and pull it back out. It'll only take you a couple of minutes to tunnel this walk. Okay, so if you're going to cut side, sometimes we lay plastic out here on the side, sometimes we don't. But it's easier if you have plastic, because you can push it right back in. Cut the side, two strips, just take your shovel and slice right down through it. 
come back about a foot, just take off one foot section, scrape it. A lot of tree roots right here, but and then set it nicely alongside your trench because you're going to put it back. Do this all the way down. You'll have a nice clean installation. Tree roots make it tough. I'm just scraping underneath of the root system of the sod and setting it right beside the trench. Try to take care of that sod so it goes back nicely. Then you come back and you always work backwards. Just take out your shovel, shovel deep. Remember, we're running inch and a half pipe through here, so it doesn't have to be really deep. It's under pressure. A lot of tree roots. Shovel will cut them. Just make it a good slice. It cuts right through them. Not big roots, but enough to stop your shovel. Use your body weight. Come back. Clean out the trench. Remember to set your dirt here, not out here. Hard to put back. Think about putting things back together. I always tell the new guys that work, it's easy to dig the trench. It's hard to put it back together. So in just like a minute, you can see I've already trenched 10 feet. Let's go back here and see what other things they're finding underground. Again, this job's really almost done. We're going to set the pump up here in a second. But yeah, nice, nice little trench. Remember, it's just wide enough and deep enough. Put that inch and a half pipe. We're going to tunnel underneath the sidewalk over to that sump pit. That's the discharge. Our inlet line's here, and Joe's made quick work of this. Holy cow. Bruh. Yeah. <laughs> He's already got this ready to lay pipe. We're going to start our French drain, which is the easy flow, styrofoam peanut pipe, right there. Maybe a couple cat spaces along the route. Changes over to solid over here. So underneath we need to the cut our over. easy flow in half. And this was a tip from a viewer that commented it was a great, great idea. Sometimes, you know, we think of a lot of things, but he recommended, let's go ahead and tie the string on here first. Manufacturer says to use a zip tie. I don't have any zip ties, but I do have lots of this string. This string is what holds together the uh, rolls of corrugated pipe. So let's go ahead and tighten it on there. Make one tie here and take another string. And we'll cut this side, tie it, and then we can cut it and hopefully we don't spill out all the peanuts. It was a great comment and again, thank you so much. So I do read the comments, good and bad. So we're gonna tighten this on there. There we go. Now I can cut between the strings because I need to put a catch basin right here. So I'll lose a few peanuts, but not like I was losing before. Um, and then get rid of the fabric without cutting the string <laughs> and if you have extra peanuts just go ahead and pour them down in there whoops it still came apart but it was a good idea um, a real real good tip from a a uh, comment from a viewer. Thank you so much. We've cut the easy flow. We've tied the knot around the fabric to keep the penis from coming out. I like to throw a little bit of soil on top of things here to help hold it all in place so that we don't have to have it move around as we're uh, backfilling it. But yeah, looking really good. You can see our line. I already put a catch space in there. We're going to extend that with a riser, bring that up to grade. And you know what? It looks like it's going to rain. It wasn't supposed to rain today. And you can see how dark it is over there. <laughs> but anyways, um, looking really good. Easy Flow is going to pick up the subsurface water as it floods up. And the catch basins are going to pick up the immediate surface water runoff and drop into our system. And it's going to be carried away over to the sump pit and pumped out to the street. 
Okay, so here's our discharge. We decided to use a just a four inch grate because it's under pressure. Sometimes it blows the pop up, you know, off of there. We've got inch and a half PVC that runs all the way back. We're back filling that right now. Remember, this line only has to be a few inches deep. Six inches deep is is plenty. We do have a broken irrigation line. We'll make a repair to that. But um, everything's looking really good. You can see how you can set your sod back on. Get it nice and cleaned up. It did rain on us here, so a little bit muddy, but let's take a look inside the sump basin before we close it up. You can see everything inside of here. Remember that we tunneled underneath the sidewalk. Line goes over and of course you saw the discharge. <clears throat> We've got the inlet line that comes in. This is picking up the, the French drain in the backyard. It brings all the water into the sump basin and then the pump lifts it up and sends it right on out to the street. This is a Zoller M98 half horsepower pump very powerful pump and we've got a check valve on here to only allow the water to flow one direction so that water can't come back down the line let's go around back and take a look and again remember we had to tunnel underneath the sewer line underneath of the sidewalk sprinkler systems and you can see we're just backfilling this is the french drain we've got a couple of catch basins installed in low spots we just don't want to cover them up of course easy enough to clean over here we had to make the extension and I've showed you that extension a couple of times let's take a look at it real quick you see the green pipe it's just we've got four inches of rise to bring this back up to the right height and then we can set our grate back on the top and sod can thatch around this area it becomes a low spot for surface water to drop into remember how the system works the gravel perforated pipe, or in this case, the easy flow pipe, it collects subsurface water. As subsurface water rises, ground water, ground table, water table, as that rises, it enters the system and gets carried away. And then from this higher ground, hard to show you on the camera, but it's higher there than it is over here on the patio. You can see that water will drop into the system through the catch basins so it picks up water two ways and it's being discharged not by gravity but by a sump pump hey this is chuck with apple drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something i guarantee you can do it have a great day hey don't forget about live help video consultation via Skype, sign up online.